Well, good morning, and uh, thanks for joining me again for today's 10 for 10, 10 minutes for 10 days devotion. Uh, Today is Wednesday, April Fool's Day, which I know we all wish this was all a big April Fool's joke, but it's not. Wednesday, April 1st, and uh, today's topic is the body of Christ. Uh, One of the greatest analogies in the Bible is when the Apostle Paul uh, uses the human body to describe the church. In uh, 1 Corinthians 12 is where he talks about this uh, in, the, in the primary passage. And in verse 12 there, he says, For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. So throughout history... Uh, we've referred to the church as the body of Christ. Now, in our current circumstance, you might be tempted to think that our lack of gathering together in person, our online service and digital meeting world that we're in right now, you might think that that is something that works against this idea of the body of Christ, the connectedness of the, the body image. But I don't think that's true. In the same way that we view Christians in Italy, uh, in Germany, or in Peru as members of the body of Christ, uh, when we speak of the church in that way, we speak of it as the church universal. We're not talking about one local church, but we're thinking about the church universal. All the Christians throughout the entire world make up the church, make up the body of Christ. And we think of Christians in those other countries as being part of the body of Christ. So when we're locally detached, if you will, when we're locally separated, that doesn't change the fact that we are still the body of Christ. However, like missionaries who serve in a different culture, they need to understand that new culture, that different culture. In order to minister effectively, we find ourselves today in a very similar situation, don't we? We're in a different culture, in a sense, where we have to communicate digitally right now. So instead of choosing to serve in a different culture, like missionaries typically do, this one's kind of been put on us, right? We didn't choose this, but this is where we find ourselves. Temporary as it may be, this is this is our reality. So even though we're separated and not able to gather together yet, we are still the body of Christ. Let me walk through a couple things that Paul talks about in this chapter, 1 Corinthians 12. A couple things to think about is, number one, the importance of the body. The importance of all the members of the body. Um, Think of your importance. That that equates, every, every member is important in the body, and uh, so each one of us has value and importance. And we're also stronger when we're all together, though, when we're, when we're working together. That doesn't necessarily speak to physical togetherness. Uh, our, our location just means our mission, our intent, what we work toward. So let me walk through a couple of points. First one is interdependence. When we talk about the body of Christ, I think we think of the interdependence of the, the body, of the physical body, right? Uh, he says in, in verse 13 and 14 in 1 Corinthians 12, For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. For the body does not consist of one member, but many. So this idea that we're interdependent with the body of Christ. We're not independent, we're not to operate in isolation or an independence of everyone else, we're to be interdependent as the body of Christ. Um, You're also indispensable. Indispensable. Verse 20, he says, As it is, there are many parts, yet one body. And in verse 22, The parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. It, It doesn't matter... Um, what skills you have, what gifting you have, how much Bible knowledge you have or don't have, how long you've been a part of the church, how new you are to the faith, and all those things. 
If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, if you've put your faith in Jesus Christ, you are a member of the body of Christ, and you are indispensable to the body. No matter how known you are in the church, no matter how um, much you're able to use your gifts, or how much you have been able to use your gifts, or have used them, every part is indispensable. Just think of that analogy in regard to your physical body. Um, I can maybe lose a pinky on a finger, or on a hand. <laughs> um, if I lost my pinky, I can still operate, I can still live a full life, but there's going to be certain things that I'll be limited on. That pinky was indispensable when it comes to certain things. Um, there's no part of our body, really, that, that we are like, hey, we don't need it at all. Um, so, so just think of that in relation to the church, that you are indispensable. Each one is indispensable. And then we see caring and considerate. I wish I had another I word to use here, but verse 25, he, he, gives, he gets into a purpose for this. All right? Uh, kind of all the body parts uh, in, in, the, in the church, in the body of Christ, they work together, right? They're indispensable. He says, verse 25, that there may be no division in the body, but that the members may have the same care for one another. Huge! Part of the benefit of the body is the care we give for one another, being considerate of others. And then we see there's still individuality, though. Not independence, but still individuality. Verse 27, now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. You don't lose your personhood when you become part of the body. You are still who you are, but you're part of the body now, and that's a huge blessing. Something that is difficult in our separate state right now is to maintain connection, maintain unity, to uh, keep current with people in a sense. So what we want to do um, is have you send a picture or a video of your family. Um, so you can either send us a picture, and if you would, when you use your f a phone um, or even a camera, instead of having your phone vertical uh, or the camera taking a vertical shot, make sure you take the picture or video with your phone in the landscape position, okay? Um, but Send a picture of your family waving or something so we can put that up in the online services. There's a, you know, we usually do a time of greeting. Uh, this is going to become kind of our time of greeting, I think. Uh, but we want to include everyone, as many people as possible. If you shoot a video, number one, the video has to be no more than 10 seconds in length. Okay? I mean, it sounds short, but it's plenty of time because it's a greeting. Um, so, so if you shoot a video of your family, have your family gathered, it's something as simple as, um, hey, church family, greetings from the Van Clay family. Something like that. Uh, you could also shoot a, a uh, kind of a, um, a farewell message, if you will, or you know, something of, hey, hope you guys have a great week this week. Hope you can live out your faith this week. Something like that that we can even show at the end of a service. But we'd love to get a number of pictures and short video clips. Like I said, 10 seconds in length maximum. You can email them to Amy Lyons, her email alyons at cdobaptist.org. You can email them to that email address, pictures or videos. And she will work to incorporate these into the online service video. If you have questions on that, please let us know, but we'd love to have you a part of that. Um, part of being in the body of Christ is making sure you're checking up on folks, that you're connected. If everyone could call one or two people they know in the church, and just to say hi and see how they're doing, see if they need anything, can you do that this week? Call one or two people and just touch base. Thanks for joining me. I want to take a minute or a few minutes and a few seconds and pray. Would you join me? Father, thank you that we're all part of the body of Christ, that you gave your body for us. Help us, Lord, to understand our value in this and the value of each member. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks. You have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.